Hey, what's up? Welcome to DGen Ed. That's degenerative education, meaning none of this is financial advice. Just me having fun looking at charts, like the chart behind me, which is of Rocket Lab, ticker symbol RKLB. And so here I am recording this on the evening of Tuesday, May 21st, after Rocket Lab closed at a price of $4.46 being up a little over 1% on the day and continuing up to 447.5 in the after hours. And so, yeah, I just wanted to go over this because I do think that Rocket Lab is getting to a pretty significant trend line that could be acting as support and uh, getting Rocket Lab up to the next level, whether that's $5 or this yellow downtrend. I do think Rocket Lab could be going higher, but I also do think it could be pulling back a little bit uh, before it does get that next leg up. So I did want to go over that, and I do want to note that all of these lines that I have up here, I did go over in the last video, which came out on May 9th, uh, but I did adjust the white uptrend. I just didn't have it fixed to the exact right points, uh, so I do have that now. So yeah, I'm just gonna go over the chart here, and I guess I will start with this white uptrend. And so that is based on the low that was hit over here on December 28th, being at a price of $3.48. And then the other pivot point was hit here at the low of October 23rd. So that's how I get that uptrend. And from this initial low, does look like it served as support here, as well as over here, and approximately in this region. And so I do think that price is getting back to that level, having closed above it for the second day in a row, and also that second close was above a key level, as I'm realizing now as I go over the chart here. Uh, so I do think that it is pretty encouraging that we could be seeing a continuation to the upside, and so there are a few reasons for that. And so I do mention here that this is the second day in a row that it's closed, above the white trend line, it is also a higher close than yesterday's high. So uh, that does represent confirmation as far as I understand it. Gareth Soloway talks about it a lot on his channel, the Verified Investing channel. Um, and so you can check that out if you're interested to learn more about confirmation. But so my understanding of it is that we did break above that white uptrend yesterday on May 20th. And then with the high of yesterday being $4.43.5, closing above it, that does suggest that we are kind of in the favor of moving to the upside rather than pulling back. And so the difference between what we saw here uh, with the potential for it to be continuing higher versus over here when it did pull back we did see a close above the uptrend, but that close was followed by a close lower than the uptrend and not above the previous day's high, which was very high. That high was at a price of $4.58. So that actually might be a good level for us to be looking forward to closing above or the high from the day after on the 15th, which was $4.64. So do look for that. But there are some other levels on here that we might want to be paying attention to. And so one of those levels, you know, we do want to be staying above this uptrend. And so really, we don't want to be seeing any closes below like 436 or really like 440. Getting below that could be suggesting that we will be turning around just like we did here. So we do want to see us holding that. But if we do close lower, I could see us pulling back to this white line here, which is the 236 from this Fibonacci retracement going from the high here that was hit on December 28th of 2023 at a price of $6.14 and then coming down to the lows hit here on April 16th at $3.47 quite a dip buying opportunity right there, if you ask me. But so anyways, that 236 level is at a price of $4.10, being just above the red line here at $4 a share. So those are some levels that we may be pulling back to. But you know, I do think that could be healthy if we do pull back to those levels, as we do see that a lot of volume has been traded just below $4 a share. And so if we do pull back to that I could definitely see it acting as support before we 
reclaim this white uptrend with some force. And so the next level up, if we are to be moving higher, would be the 382 that is at a price of $4.49, or right around $4.50. We were able to get a close above it on the 14th, closing at $4.56 but we could not hold that. So ideally we are to be holding, getting multiple closes above 450 before we start to move higher and reclaim the next level up, which is the 50% retracement at a price of $4.80.5. But really I do think that the important level for us to be reclaiming is $5 a share, that just being you know a psychological whole dollar number. That is one we really want to be reclaiming. But in the process of getting up there, I could see price getting rejected from the 50% retracement at 480, maybe pulling back to $4.45, test the uptrend as support uh, before going past $5, and then maybe getting up to this yellow downtrend, which would be just below $6 a share. So maybe we do see that happening in the next month or so. And some other things that I did want to point out looking at the volume and the RSI, one thing that stands out to me a little bit about the RSI that might be somewhat concerning is from this high, we do see that we are putting in a lower high currently if we are to not continue higher. That would be getting up to $6.14 to make it not a lower high. Uh, but looking at the RSI, uh, the high over here corresponding with the $6.14 top, uh, that was hit, like I said, on December 28th, and that corresponds with an RSI of 68.90. And we recently hit an RSI of 71.19. So we are putting in a higher high with the RSI, whereas it is a lower high with a stock price. And so that is hidden bearish divergence. So with that being said, uh, we could be seeing a pullback, but it's quite possible we've already seen that. And we are just now starting to see a continuation to the upside, breaking that hidden bearish divergence. And a thing that does support that is if we, if we look at the volume uh, down here, uh, we see that volume was higher with this big green candle than it has been since we've pulled back. It's actually been consolidating at lower volumes. So that could suggest that this consolidation is a bull flag and price will be breaking out like to reclaiming $5 a share. And so, you know, I could definitely see a pullback. So I do think it is good to be cautious of that. One level that we might want to be paying attention to is the low from Friday of last week on the 17th. That was a low of $4.25. If we get a close below that, that could be confirmation of it pulling back or negating the confirmation that we just saw above this white uptrend. But generally, you know, I am thinking that the bottom is in, that price will be going higher, and that we should be seeing $5 a share in the next month or so. Uh, but, you know, if not, do be cautious, do trade carefully, uh, because, you know, these are just my thoughts. And if you did find them helpful, make sure you like the video, share your thoughts in the comments down below, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thanks a lot for watching.